Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Vivalina and today we are touring the South America section, meaning we get to see eight different habitat species as well as an underwater viewing temple. So stay with me to see all of this and the tropical modern house of Steinheimer Zoo. We are starting of course with the adorable llamas. I just love the job that Frontier and the developers did on all all the different uh, skin patterns they have or fur patterns maybe I should call it and it's just really nice that they can live in this little hilly outside area because as they are native to Peru or for example the Andes area they are very adapted to this temperate climate and that's just really nice to have them here so they of course still have their little outside shelter but there's no need to hide them in winter they can do quite well on their own. Here to the right we have a little monorail station so across the whole zoo we have the monorail running just in case the guests get a bit lazy and want to just look at a specific section of the zoo. So hello it's coming here to say goodbye we should maybe aww, give it a little scratch. <laughs> It would like that so yeah here we get out and we can get a little bit of refreshments beverage food whatever your heart desires and then get some cash also sit down here and relax so you see i used the south american um, tables and benches and so on just because i couldn't resist and here we also have some theming with the south american tropics sign welcoming us into this modern glass build of the south american tropical house so yeah, this is just a little area to welcome you in and you already see our first friend here, the capuchin monkeys. So let's go and actually see them live in action. I have built these double doors just because as this is a walkthrough habitat, our guests should take care to not let the capuchin monkeys escape into the general zoo. So let's just quickly jump in and there we have all of them running around being cute and adorable. Of course, we also have the Galapagos tortoises and if you are wondering, the capuchin monkeys have the trees here a bit to climb. So I didn't build climbing structures outside, but they have some climbing structures in their inside part. Because of course, they would have to be, you know, moved a bit to the inside when it does get cold in winter. So we are coming back up here and we will be able to directly look into the outside area of another habitat. I hope that we get to see some animals, but I cannot promise. So let's just check it out. And like in a real, oh no, there is one. Yes, there's the anteater. You see the tail and in the back we already see the tapir bathing. So you already know which animals we will find here, but I think otherwise this section is a bit empty. So let's go and see if we can see them from the inside. I also used like this wallpaper a bit, just, I don't know, I really like the um, wallpapers. I am a big friend of them. I don't know why. So yeah, here we are inside the South American house. I don't know why we are jumping like this. I'm a tangent cam, it should be nice. Uh, but yeah, here we can see again inside the habitat of the tortoises and also the capuchin monkey. So here you see they have a little section to climb around and also way more trees inside. So this is the place where they also can jump around and play and they also have a little water here where they can go. Um, to the right we have quite a lot of different exhibits but I don't want to show you them in detail because we all know they look quite similar. There's not that much that you can do with them. I just decided to leave the backside open so you have this view into the tropical habitat but of course from here you do not see really the animals. Then to the left we get greeted by a waterfall. So do we also see the animals which live here? It's a big cat, that's all I'm saying, and you should already know that this is of course where we would look for the jaguar. But since we are not lucky, let's first take a peek here, and we see all the tapir couple is sitting, and there's an ant eater swimming. And you know here they have also a little area in the back where they can go and be a bit more hidden from the guests, but in general, they are quite fine. Ah yeah, there's the other tapir swimming. So basically we have this river coming from the waterfall from the jaguars, and it runs outside here through the tapir habitat. Um, and now let's see if we get lucky. Oh my god, we are lucky. We are in luck. Can you believe it? 
there they are, the jaguars. I would have loved, of course, for one of them to walk over here because this is just one of the best views. Maybe I can add some cinematics in the end, which normally I do not do with these tours, but maybe I can try to see if I can find the jaguars walking there, just because I really love when they do it. Or, or cross there. Let's just watch him. Or her, I don't know. I can't tell, to be honest. And what is it doing? I think it might think about going swimming, huh? No? Yes? Maybe? No. <laughs> All right. But yeah. Oh, okay. That that was quite a jump. And yes, it did decide to go swimming. Um, and then here I said this is the tapirs and the art eaters habitat. But it's quickly followed by this other habitat. So here we have the dwarf caiman. So they also have their inside area with some inside water here to go swim. And they also have a little outside area. I worked a lot with this like inside um, foliage on the wall as well to make the ha animals feel happy. And then we of course are in the South American tropical house. So you can imagine how this has, you know, this high air humidity on purpose because this is how the animals would want it to be. Another view inside the jaguars, one is swimming here. The other I can't quite spot right now. So in that case, let's just go outside. Maybe it is in the outside area because here the jaguars have yet more space to roam around. Initially they were just in the inside, but it soon became clear that this was too little space for them. So I also added them this little outside area where the cats can again look inside for them. Same goes here, by the way, for the um, dwarf caimans. So we can see them. I think they fed baby. I maybe should check their population. But yeah, we can see them. I also put this little statue here and we can see them running around here. Before we continue to the next area, let me um, quickly run somewhere because this is also a park. So I'm sorry for these green screens. That's just because it's an area I'm not ready to show you yet. So we can come here to this little tropical playground. To be fair, here I have worked a lot with blueprints, so let's honor them. We have this playground set by Henfken, Henfken <laughs> which I took off the Steam Workshop. So whenever I take items from the Steam Workshop, I will put it here, the creator at least, and I will also put the link in the description. So if you want to check them out, feel free to do so. So here the parents can come, they can get a nice little drink, maybe a piña colada, I mean you can also do that, maybe unalcoholic, and the kids can roam around and play on the ship. So this bar also is not for me, this bar was sponsored by the Battle Dogs. So thank you so much for this nice little tropical bar where we can have them sell their stuff. So I think this bar was created before we had those shops, so I just felt uh, the freedom to add them so you can actually get a little drink. Um, yeah, so this is just the playground. I think there's one more item here to mention on the playground before we continue to the next animals. So yeah, it's this one from Keen. This nice little, I don't know how you even call it. In Germany it's Karussell. And then um, also this seesaw. How do you call it? It's Bip in German. It's from Henkfen again. So this is part of the whole tropical um, set. So yeah, playground set. This is it. This is the South American house. But we are not completely done with the South American area yet. Because... Ah, uh, sorry, my, Zook, uh, my PC gave me a weird notification. Um, yeah. After this area, we also have this area. So this is, to be honest, this area I still have to see him a bit. I got a bit lazy, but I still wanted to show it off as my building on the zoo is not according to areas, but I go here and there. And I also want to show off the other parts that I have built where I actually already um, started on a tour video and then noticed that the South American house, you, I have to do first. Okay, I had to jump out of and back into Tangent Camp because of this path. I don't know, it's, it has some issue with it. So now we are back on eye level with these visitors and you can already see, we get to see the otters. So they have this enormous house here, which is supposed to keep them warm in winter when they want to go inside. But of course they also have this outside swimming area. And yeah, here we can see them swim and run around on the coast a bit. And yeah, 
this is very important but here you already see it says under the river because actually this river i could not show it probably but um maybe you noticed this river is the one which came from the jaguar to the ant eaters and the tapirs running here to the otters while we go downstairs let's recap we have seen the llamas we have seen the capuchin monkeys and the galapagos tortoise and then of course also the ant eater and the bear's tape here the jaguar and the dwarf caiman meaning we are at our last animal with the south american giant otter so now we can go downstairs here take a turn and we come to the underwater temple which I mentioned at the start of the video. Even though temple might be a bit much, but you see we have a little hello, a little issue with Tajit Cam again, but yeah, we have this little temple pieces used down here. We also have an elevator by Aldi SL, uh, ASLE, like the same elevator as across the zoo. We have a little section here where you have the stones and the nature and also, you know, some hidden art here, let's say. And then I also took care, you know, this would be some stairs that you can sit on with the cushions, with the pillows to look inside of the water viewing area of the otters. So this is our watch underwater viewing area for the otters. And I don't know, I, I just really like how it turned out. I just like seeing them swimming and diving here. The only downside I have is that because of the terrain continuing up the front, we don't get this view which is what I want to see. I want to see the fish and I want to see the bubbles, but for some reason, if we are here behind the glass, we don't get to see that, so I will just not be. Um, yeah, so here we have the nice watercolor and we also have the otters swimming around and just being a delight to the zoo. Ooh, this look really cool with the light. Yeah, so this is the little underwater section that I built and I don't know, I just really like how it turned out even though I have not seen a single guest ever come down here. But maybe that's just because the zoo is too big and I have limited the guest number, so that could be. Anyhow, this was it for the South America area of Steinheimer Zoo. I do hope you like it as you get to enjoy the cinematics and a recap of all the animals that we have seen. And of course, if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button, to leave a comment. And of course, if you want to see how the zoo project continues, don't forget to hit subscribe and also check out my other content as I will be publishing quite regularly from now on. And I hope to see you soon again in the next video. With this, have a lovely day and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!
Let's go.